What up, what up? This is Checo. That's your boy, Noi. What up? What? Con más ganas, wey. Yo, this is your boy, Noi. What up, man? It's Compass Unfiltered, baby. And this is Compass Unfiltered. Uh, thank you guys for listening, for watching, subscribing. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow all of our social media. Like, you know, all that. Is to give us a like um, for the video. Comment. We've been gone for a minute. Este, we did have a video um, that we released by well, by the time they watch this. Right. We already released one with uh with my cousin Carlos. An episode. An episode. Yeah. An episode. Este. So what happened with that episode, it was us trying to get back into the groove of uh doing this podcasting thing. And we had about four episodes lined up. That's cool. It's cool. All right. So we had about four <laughs> episodes lined up, and I got sick um, without going into like, too many details or whatever. Hijo de la chingada. And that's his uh, pit bulls. He got Rock Roller and a pit bull, as you can hear by the bark. <laughs> I, I don't even know if they can hear it or not, but oh, fucking dogs, man. Um, so, anyways, we had four episodes lined up. I got sick. Uh, basically, I ended up in the ER like twice, and I felt like complete fucking shit. Um, fucking COVID symptoms, pretty much. Like fever, fucking body aches. I mean, you name it, I pretty much felt it. And that's why we had to cancel like those four fucking episodes. So now we got to get back into scheduling, which it threw everything off. It, like. I'm pretty disappointed in that, but it was yeah, yeah, stuff happens for a reason, right? And it wasn't COVID. So you said COVID. It wasn't, but it, it wasn't, wasn't COVID. Yeah, it wasn't COVID. It was um it was some other shit, right? But oh uh, I'm good. I'm good now. Um and me and Noi wanted to get back into it again because I felt like when we said Compa Noi, we felt like fell off type shit. Like, you know, just trying to uh work out the fucking the kinks, the kinks, I guess, or the yeah. the the hiccups, whatever. I just see people still like still doing it, bro. And I'm like, man, we should be working, bro. Like we were, we worked so hard for that first, you know, ten months, eleven months, whatever it was. Because oh. this is our anniversary right now, really. Yeah. This month, we did a fucking year, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. So, so to me, I was like, man, we we worked so hard, bro. That that first year or that first eleven months, whatever you want to call it, that. Consistently, yeah, consistent. dropping every Wednesday, like, sacrificing, bro. Most of all, like, hey, I, I, well, damn, I got, I got this, but like, yo, we got this scheduled. All right, bet I'll be there. Or Checo, hey, I'll work around your schedule too, bro. We'll make it happen. And um, man, I see people still working, bro. And I, not, I'm not hating. I'm just saying, like, that we should be working just as hard, bro, or harder. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't feel like anybody was outworking us really. So I want to get back to that mentality, bro. And you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I want to be back on that at that A game. Because I feel like that's that's what was you know setting us apart and putting us on the map. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree, hundred um, percent. I felt like we were definitely putting in work and and trying to be consistent and and uh, trying to drop every Wednesday for for our, our few listeners that we do have that are religiously listen to us every Wednesday. Right. And um, but I mean that that break was was needed. Uh, it was definitely needed. It felt good. Um, I felt I too. Glad. Felt too good for. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, dude. I, I, hey, cuando me habló el compa, like, hey, we're get, we're getting started. I'm like, you sure? <laughs> you <laughs> like good? Two more weeks away? Like, yeah. Like, nah? you tell me. He, t hey, nah. I text you today. Like, hey, we still on? Like, <laughs> like if we're gonna catch a, a beer or something, bro. Like, <laughs> you see, we, uh, we coming here to work, bro. Like, yeah, get your ass here, bro. You see, um, but you know, it's the that's why it's um, I don't even think I mentioned that when we did uh the episode with my cousin Carlos, <clears> but um. That was another issue too, like our, our like the guest, and maybe I did mention it, but you know it's like um, something happens, you know whether it's scheduling, whether it, right now it's COVID or, or whatever. And back then I was more like, you know, we can't do an episode unless we have somebody. But now it's just like you know, fuck it, just me and El Compa Noi. Um, I am gonna have a segment with El Compa Kike. Um, that's going to be like audio only and that's going to be like once a month. So if we do have a little bit of a gap, you know, I'll throw that in there or like we miss an episode because X, Y, Z reason. Um, and if we do have a full schedule and we're, we're on it, I mean, you'll just get an extra episode a month. That's pretty much what it's going to be. 
That's the. But yeah, pretty much it, bro. As far as that, I just want to let you guys know that we fell off because I got sick. But what are you Don't think chingasu. I hope so, bro. You feeling better? I feel better, bro. You look I, like I, shit I, still. I, I, well, I that's that, just edit me. that out. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> oh, snap. Nah, nah, you look I'm good, good bro. though. I'm, I'm good though, and I'm, I'm ready good. to go, man. I'm ready to go. Um, one thing I did want to bring up, and we do have a topic today. We do have a topic, mainly Companoi. But one thing I did want to bring up because it's been on social media and whatnot uh, with uh, Canelo, because the Canelo fight's going to come up. Timon. Did you see the the shoving match? Okay. So one thing that I've noticed on like YouTube and, and when I like, this is from uh, like boxing YouTubers, I guess you want to call it. Most of them are not Latino or not Hispanic. You know, they're, they're white or, or black or lo que sea. Um, and they're like, oh yeah, like Caleb Plant called them a motherfucker and it just got lost in translation to what it actually means. But if you're trying to translate it and para un hispano, para un mexicano, it turns out it, it comes out to like, te la estás rayando. Te la rayó. And to me, bro, that's like the biggest fucking insult. Disrespect. Disrespect. Yeah. As a Latino, as a, as a Mexican. Like those yeah. are fighting words. Like you don't say that. Sh- like I don't even play that with like my guys and I'm like, hey, chinga tu madre. Like I don't, I don't do that. I know, I you know, there, there are, People out there that that's the way they joke around, but that's not me. You know what I mean? Like to yeah, me, that, that ain't me. Way, you know, it's like was we gonna throw hands for. I don't know how you feel about that, Compañoy. I agree. My dad's my dad's always said that to me, bro. Like he he's he's actually he's a, probably the first person I've heard. Like yeah, well I'm like why'd you fight him? Hey, me la rayo. Oh snap! So that kind of stuck, you know. And yeah. that was as I was growing up as a kid. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, I mean, but you're right. Um, most of my homies, like, we don't, we don't, that, that's no, not something that, that we say. And we joke around and, and, we, we, and we go heavy. Yeah, pero no. Nah, we, never, don't, we don't do that. I've never said anything like that. No. Nah. So I just but, wanted to bring that up. Like I said, just because I did hear like other other YouTubers and other YouTubers, like we're YouTubers. I heard YouTubers, <laughs> la chingada, you know? And well, we are, then we do have content well, we on do there, have bro. We do have content on YouTube. I guess we're YouTubers. I didn't tell you the story. Hey, real quick, my, my story's going to be short, bro. So I, my wife's like, yo, you hit 400 subscribers. Um, we're celebrating. So we went out to dinner. And then- um, yeah, I didn't get a fucking invite? Hold on. Oh, hell, no, that is fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> so we went out. Hell, wait up, it gets worse. <laughs> so we go out to dinner, bro. And then like the next day, she's like, hey, did you see you lost a subscriber? <laughs> we back to 399. <laughs> Actually, I think we dropped to 398 when she saw it. She's like, hey, did you see that? Some somebody unsubscribed from you. I'm damn, like, ah, oh, damn, <laughs> y'all bogus, man. But I got a dinner out of it, so good looking, <laughs> good looking. Oh. Whoever whoever was that 400 subscriber, man, thanks it, a lot because she took me out to dinner for that. It's all good though. Now we're like at 405 or 406, so we picked up some subscribers. So yeah. thank you to the new subscribers. For and sure, hopefully man. You guys enjoy the content. We appreciate you guys, man. Thanks so much. But oh, yeah. anyway, no me quise says yeah, but I had to tell you, bro. I thought it was funny. Yeah, that is pretty funny. <clears throat> and, well, kind of. I didn't get an invite, so. I don't need. Would you have want to go? Well, nah, wait, but still, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, I'm good, fool. Like, I'm gonna die or something. Like, man, get your ass. Oh shit. Nah. Yeah. And also, then. No, but that that was basically what I wanted to bring up, just because of the whole like translation of of motherfucker to translate into Spanish or whatever. And yeah, it's like basically te lo estás rayando. So yeah. But hold up, just to clarify though, if somebody does call you a motherfucker, you that's not that doesn't count to you. Que te well, la rayen no. es una cosa, right? Like, right, right, right. But the thing is, it's like, Mexicano, some, like, te la rayen, that's, you know what because, it is. I don't even want to say it. Yeah, it's because, I think because uh, we grew up in, in the American culture, so it doesn't really mean anything to us. Yeah. You get what I mean? Got it. Like, I've, I've heard, um, like, coworkers, um, they're, they're Asian, and when we do joke around or whatever, like, motherfucker and shit like that, but when you actually translate it también igual to... Whatever, uh, Japanese, Chinese, whatever they, whatever they are, um, they say it's it's the same thing. Okay, like if if you were to say it in in their language, that's what it, it means. Van a tirar it is what it is, right? Pero like since it's in English, so like oh that doesn't mean anything to me. Like yeah, it's it's still offensive, but it's not not to that degree, right? You know. Got it. I just wanted to know. So I mean, somebody has called you a motherfucker, and you don't. You're like yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. All right, but okay, cool. So, um, so Canelo took it too far. Nah, because he's from think, Mexico, though, right? 
I don't think he took it too far, bro, because it's not like English is his first language and he grew up in this culture, you know what right, I mean? Right, right. So I don't think he, he took it He just translated it así como va. Like, uh, he said that, that's what this means to me. And, Boom. Yeah, and the, and the thing is, they're like, oh, well, Canelo called this one other boxer a motherfucker. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, well, then Canelo wanted putazos, way. Yeah. <laughs> that's basically what it means, bro. Like, it is what it is. Now, if that boxer didn't take it that way because the other boxer is American, you know? He just took it as a motherfucker. That's it. Um, but... Yeah, if, if you take it that way and if you want to fucking throw hands, I mean, it is what it is. For sure. That's the way I take it. Um, so one thing before, or another thing I wanted to talk about, because it was crazy. It's fucking crazy. I don't know what the fuck it is with me and, and dead bodies, bro. Like You lately. found another one? No, mom. Is like, bro. No way, dude. Bro. Did you, you watch the Squid Games? Okay. Man, I might as well, right? No. I So, okay. So this happened on my way to work, bro. Fui a, fui a Chargas, and um, this is like four in the morning, bro. And I'm there's this like little side road. When you go into the gas station, you can't just jump on the on the street, on the main street. You got to go to this one side road because, like, you know, whatever. You can't make a left turn. Look at that. So I went down to the side street, and there was a person on the floor way, like, laid out. And I was like, que pedo, you know? So I drove around them, but I'm like, they're probably going to fucking wake up or freak out. Not that way. Not even like a little budge. Like they ain't nothing. What um, city is this? In Aurora. Oh, here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I saw that and I was like, oh, shit. And I'm like, damn, should I go check up on them? You know? And I was like, fuck that, you know? So I, you know what they taught you in the hood, bro. Mind your business, fool. You see, we mind your business. But I've been living in the suburbs for a little bit, so I called the popo, bro. <laughs> I called the police. I was like, "Yo, there's a person on the floorway. I don't know. He's not responding. Like I fucking passed by him. He didn't fucking budge. I'm like, I don't know if he's dead. I don't want to find out. But y'all might want to come find out. I'm like, and this is like a road that connects the gas station to a uh, uh, child care daycare." Oh, so I was like, "Yo, y'all better check up on homie," <clears throat> and they were like, "What they, is I, your name?" <laughs> they, 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 <laughs> Hell yeah, they, they I'm sure my, they took all your info. Oh, they asked for my name, and I, I told them like, "Noe Marquez." <laughs> <laughs> crazy. <laughs> no one else getting spam calls. Nah. Oh shit. No, but then it's the. This is a fucked up thing, bro. And and I didn't catch it at first, you know. Uh, but after I like processed it, because I was kind of like, "Oh shit!" Like this might be a dead body, you know. Um, and the dispatcher was like, oh, is he black or Hispanic? And I'm like, oh, I can't tell. He's got a hoodie. And then once I started driving to my to my job, and I'm like, why the fuck is it only black or Hispanic? What if it was a white person? Yeah. I think he was true. black, though. But still, you know, I was uh, like, what the fuck? That's fucked up. Well, yeah. Who knows, man? Eitan, maybe? Pre- predominantly uh, black and Hispanic? Yeah, but still, yeah. You could have just asked what race was he, you know, whatever. Right. It was like, oh, black or Hispanic. It's like, uh, I'm like, I don't know he's got a hoodie. I, see, I think there's a lot of factors that go into that, though, bro, because you sound Hispanic. Your name is Hispanic. You know, like Aurora, you know, probably the amount of black and Hispanic people that live here. Just, you know what I mean? Still, really, that's fucked up. But I get it. She should have been more professional and asked it in a different manner. But I could see why that would have come first, you know, like. Do you does do, do I, am I making sense? No. Or no? All right, down. All right. Not at all. Edit that out too. No edit, but <laughs> comment. Does yeah. that make any sense? Like to me, like, like not not what Copa Noy says, oh, but just like she just, should have been more professional like and she, asked in a different yeah. manner. Like you said, just I ask think what so. race. Like, you know, okay, like what is he, you know? Uh I mean she could have said uh, Hispanic, black, white, you know, she could have gone down the list. She literally uh, she could have just been too. like, Can you tell nationality or race? Simone. Yeah. And she didn't. Like at always, so I was like, "What the fuck?" Like, why don't you call back and get her badge number? That's like some Karen shit, no? I don't know. I'm just talking shit. (laughs) I was just like, he was already calling the police. I was, (laughs) damn. I was just playing for. Hey, man, you did the right thing, bro. No matter what. All right, you snitch, bro. (laughs) (laughs) Snitches get stitches. Oh snap! I shouldn't have said shit, but anyways. So was he dead? I don't want fucking. Oh, lie. you didn't yeah, find I out. Dipped off. Fuck that shit. No, I'm saying, but you didn't see like the yellow rose after or nothing like that. Nah, Investigation, I see, anything? I didn't see anything like that. Damn. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe dude's that, or maybe he was taking a nap. But dude, some sometimes you're just drunk as hell, passed out, bro. Like past, passed out. 
I mean, that could have been it you know too. What I mean, like, but yeah, that's crazy. If it was a dead body, that's wild, bro. But let's hope not. I don't think. Let's it hope, dude. It's fine. Yeah, recovering, crudo. Um, uh, yeah. So <laughs> okay, wild. our topic, wait. So oh, shout sure. out to Chingona. Talk about it, Cynthia, Diana. Este, shout this out. Is, this is why I uh, I was listening to their pod, and sure. they. I don't think it was intentionally like their topic. It just kind of led into it. But they were talking about um, having a joint uh, social media, like with your partner. And I'm going to take a little bit further, but we'll start off with that. Um, My initial, like if I see someone or if I, you know, that they do have a joint account. I, I, okay, so I know friends and family. So this is not like, I mean, I know there's different reasons, right? But if I don't know you, I'm already thinking like somebody cheated, somebody fucked up. That's my initial <laughs> A. That's what I'm thinking. Like, I never somebody even fucked thought up. like that. That's crazy. Well, because it's like there's no trust. You can't have your own social media. So I'm like, somebody fucked up. And they, somebody got trust issues, you know? So that's why. But I do know people who do have joint accounts just because they're like, they're not into social media like that. And they're just like, well, if they want to contact me, they can just contact you. You know, like it's, yeah, it's, it's lo mismo. Like it's whatever. Like they don't really care for social media like that. But like I said, that's not everybody. But when I do see somebody and I don't know, and I'm like, I see the two names, I'm like, yeah, somebody fucked up. I know a few people that have joint accounts, bro. So those people that, and I know they listen. So comment below, like, let us know why. What's your reason? Yeah, what's the reason? Bob. Educarnos un poco, no? Porque, I don't, honestly, I don't know. I didn't think that what you said, like, there's ah, somebody shit. cheated. Somebody, somebody cheated. Somebody I didn't up. think that. I was just like, I, I wonder, maybe they're just that tight, you know? Maybe they're just that close, bro. So I look at it maybe the that opposite. Close they have trust issues. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not even the trust issues. Just more like, I don't really care. Like, yeah, let's, let's put one together, you know? Like, our friends are, my friends what? are your friends. Like, hey, who That's cares? what I'm saying. There's, there's different... <clears throat> um, I want to know why, though. Yeah, you're right. There's different people. Have different different couples have different situations and whatnot. But that is my initial thought. Right. When I do see something like that, I'm like, ah, oh, somebody cheated. That fool can't be trusted or she can't be trusted or something. Somebody fucked up. She for the streets? Is She's for she... the streets, man. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, damn. <laughs> you bogus. So um, that's not your yeah. initial. You're just like, if you see it, you're like, it's whatever. I mean, you're not like, that's weird. You're not like. I mean, I find it a little bit weird in a way that, like, but since you're social media, I guess, I don't know, bro. Like, I, I just, I never thought that, though. Like, somebody cheated. That's why maybe there's trust issues. But I, now that I think about it, when you said that, I would actually think the opposite. Like, we're that tight. We're the, we get along that well. And, like, la confianza está ahí. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, that. that's the way I see it. I was like, oh, maybe they're, like, super cool. You know, like, the relationship is on that level of dopeness. Like, man. Whatever you know, it doesn't matter. Maybe I don't know. I'm thinking that I'll go with that instead of what you said. I almost stick with what I said. You say you fool <laughs> somebody the streets, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who knows, man? That's a crazy. I hope uh, I hope uh, the people that that have a joint do comment though, because I want to know why. You know, but no sin ofender, relax. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, chill. I just want to know. I just, I'm just I'm, I'm curious know. now that you said it. But yeah, I mean, do you have any joint account? No, I don't have any joint account. So this was going to lead to that even like not that my wife can grab my phone whenever she wants. She can, you know, I, I don't give a fuck. Um, the only thing that does bother me is that when she drains her battery yeah, and then she wants to, you know, like let's say my phone is the only option, like close to her or whatever. And I'm not using it. I don't care if she could use it. But then she starts watching YouTube on my phone. And drains your battery? Nah. Because then I started getting her suggestions. Oh. Like. Yeah, my kids do I don't, that, bro. So you know, I, I don't want to watch Makeup Guru, whatever the fuck, you know, or whatever she be watching. Whatever you know what it I mean? is, like, yeah. Like, I ain't trying to. And the thing is, like, all the TVs are linked up to, to my uh um, So it'll Google. populate again. So, yeah. So then all of a sudden, I'm like, you know, oh, I'm like, all right, cool. She could be using my phone. I don't care. I'll go on the TV, whatever. If I do want to watch on YouTube. And. If you do go through mine, it's like music, you know, uh, yeah, podcasting, you know, whatever. Gonna pass on filter. Gonna pass on filter all day. Um, but, and then all of a sudden it's like doing makeup with fucking Jonathan and no sé qué chingas. Like, I'm like, right. what the fuck is this? You know? You're like, like, like subscribe. No, all of a sudden, 
it, it's already light. And I'm like, bro, that was not me. Yeah, so, that's crazy, man. That's the only thing that I'm like, man, like, how do I get this shit out of my fucking feed, you know? I got past that point, bro. My kids, you know, like if we're in the car or whatever. That's different. That's yeah. your kids. But yeah, but still, it doesn't mess up the algorithm, bro, because now I'm getting kids stuff all the time, bro. You know what I mean? Like, it does suck, but it is what it is. But yeah, um, back to the... So what the hell were you saying though? Where how did you jump into the phone thing? Oh, because she could grab it anytime. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. Like it's 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 yeah, not it's really like, related, but it is. You know, it's just like la confianza. The, there's there there. She could grab my phone. So la confianza está. But it's just more so like the you said throws out the algorithm like for my YouTube or, or whatever. Right. You know what I mean? I'll be like, man, like I ain't trying to. Or even um, I think Chingona has talked about this. They're like having like a joint like Instagram or whatever. You know, like once again. I'm not trying to fucking watch, uh, you know, whatever makeup tutorials or my wife's like into crafting. Yeah. If she goes on mine, she's going to start seeing banda. She's going to start seeing fucking um, chivas por vida type shit. You know what I mean? So, you know, all that G shit, you know? Get, no? This is crazy. What do you say? No, no. I mean, the best come to the America. Nah, it's like... Um, yeah, I get it, bro. Like, it ain't even like, to me, it's not about the grabbing the phone or whatever. I don't really care. She uses my phone or I'll grab her phone or whatever. That doesn't really matter. But on an, another note, though, like, I'm still the same way on phone calls, bro. Like, when we're on a call or anybody calls me, bro, I like privacy. Like, it doesn't matter who it is, but like, if whenever- Privacy, like what? Like, not putting on speaker or- or, or you just like walk away to another room. Type walk thing. away to another room. Um, I, I do and, that too. And I'm not sure if it's more for quiet and like to be able to pay attention and whatever. But it could be anybody. It doesn't matter who it is, bro. Like my cousins call me or you call me or whoever, right? Unless it's going to be a conversation. Like sometimes my brother will call me obviously to, to check us, check up on us and check up on the kids. And like he wants to see him FaceTime. Him. That's more like a family call, bro. That's cool. But if even if he calls me like on direct, you know, then then I know it's nothing about the fams. Then we're just conversating as private, bro. Like that's I don't know. I don't. That's that's it. I don't. I thought that would go away when I would get married or something. No. But that's that. That never went away, bro. I'm still the exact same way. I don't. I I just I like that privacy, bro. Like if I'm gonna be on a phone call, and I think it's the fact that like then they start telling you stuff like, hey, vas a, vas a querer tortillas or vas a querer or you yeah, know, like, well, they're get, interrupting. Like, yeah, like uh, they start t- talking to you, but I like to be focused. Yeah, focused, zoned in on whatever we're talking about or listening or whatever. I think that's, the, I don't know. I just wanted to bring it up. I thought it was, I think it's weird still that I do it. You know, like I have, I don't, to, I have to step away. I don't every think time. it's weird. Huh? I don't think it's weird just because I do the same thing. <clears throat> but when I am on the phone, bro, I'm a pacer. Oh, you're walking back. I think I, I do that too. I, I yeah, I can't. I can't get rid of that. Like, I I have to go walk or whatever, or I do have to go to another room and then like I do sit down. But it's yeah, same thing. Like my privacy, just like because it'll be the same. Yeah, yeah, I I get that. You know, oh, and it ain't nothing about or, hiding nothing. It's no. just like you like that privacy for that specific moment or conversation or talk or and it, it could be about nothing. For something you call me, we're just bullshitting. You know. Yeah. But and um yeah, it don't matter who it is, bro. I but, wonder if she. Even, I mean, I'm sure she realizes it because it happens. You know. Frequently, but right. she never said anything. But so now, so now, nah. <laughs> yeah, cause she she don't care, bro. She'd be on the phone, like like I was right like, some there, like, like that, bro. Yeah, like, like she she doesn't care, bro. And I'm like, bro, go talk somewhere else. <laughs> like get out of here. Like I don't want to hear. Or I'm, you know, like whatever. I just I usually tell her like, yo, but she doesn't care though. So it's different, you know. That I wonder where it came from, bro, about the privacy thing, you know? Yeah. No, I get that, cause like my. Like my parents, bro. Like they really don't care. I mean, they got yeah, people on speaker care. and shit. My like, dad talks hella loud, bro. Oh, I'll be like, bro, like go over their way, you know? Like, yeah, that's how I am, TV, bro. bro. It ain't like, even about there, watching bro. something, bro. Sometimes just like, nah, fuck, dude, I'm, like <laughs> I'm like, yo, get out of here, dude. Like, why am I listening to this? It's funny. I think it's weird, but yeah, I'm the same. I'm the I'm the same way as before. I thought when I get married, I was like, oh, it's it'll change, you know? But nah, that never changed. No. Nah. Um, to go back into this joint thing. So, I mean, social media, like, we already kind of covered it, right? We've, we 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 want to know. Yeah, I mean, comment, let us know, message us and shit. Um, Wait, know, hold up, though. Before you jump off that, what would be the reason why you would want, like, your own account? 
I, I'm, like I said, it'll be the same thing like for me. Like I'm subscribed to fucking. Okay, you but know, yeah, but on Facebook or like. Well, I mean, because they got like like pages and shit. You know what I mean? Okay, so you could yeah. have your own thing of liking yeah. stuff. Okay. I mean, I don't use it that's, enough. That's just my thing. I don't Instagram, know. Instagram, same thing, right? Because yeah. then stuff starts, starts coming up. up. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. I see what you're saying. So that would be the main reason. Just because of that, really. I mean, like I said, my that's true. my phone, the message, I don't really care for it, you know, that stuff. That's or true, bro. It's just, it's just more so that. She wouldn't like my Instagram, bro. Why? What do you? Like stuff like, yeah, I'm thinking about it. This fool. Que, no, I'm no más preguntando, güey. <laughs> Stay away. No, nah, like cars, um, music, stuff like that. You know what I mean? And like when she opens her Instagram, it's like food, TikToks about food and like cooking and Edwin Cass <laughs> from Firme. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, um, You're subscribed to that. What's that? I'm lying. <laughs> nah, you tripping, bro. Que parte, no entiende. Nah, get out of here. My kids are singing that like crazy oh, right now, bro. Man. They loving that song, bro. Um, yeah, I I never even thought about that, bro. The whole liking thing, like what pops up, you know? Yeah, you know what I'm saying I wouldn't want to see whatever she's, you know. And we're not interested in it. I'm right? not interested. I'm just like, you know, yeah. So that'll, be, that'll be my main thing. That, that's my main thing. Um. I think oh, oh I think we're done with social media, right? I that's I just had that that's one question. It. Okay, that was it. All right. All right like, unless you guys obviously can comment and let us know what's your uh, your opinion. But uh, so another thing I was gonna bring up was having a joint bank account. I know we're on different um bank accounts. No, I was saying I was saying because you have a joint one, right, with your wife? Yeah. And I don't. And I remember yeah. one time we talked about it and you were like, Why? And you're like, hold on. We'll save it for a pod. Okay, okay. Yeah, like I do remember that, that. You know, it was just one of those, like, we'll save that one for a pod. Like, why or whatever. My reason, I've always liked to keep track of my own money. Mm-hmm. So I know what I can spend. You know what I mean? Like, I don't... No sé. I, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm just weird like that. But I do know other people that are like, nah, 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 nah like, fuck that. Even if, I, even once you're married, like... Keep, I your, like, keep your account separate and whatnot. I'm not gonna say who who told me that, but it may, I think they do listen to the pod. I I feel like people that have had bad experiences will suggest that, will advise that, like keep your money separate. You think so? Yeah, because a lot of people will kind of say that to my wife too. Like keep it separate. Yeah, like have your own stash, keep a separate account. Like, um, but these are like scorned women. You know what I mean? Like. Something happened. You feel me? I mean, not saying that it can't happen. Something can happen anytime, bro. Right, but I'm right. saying like, for me, bro, my my thing is, if something were to happen, bro, where we didn't work out or something like that, and our, our bank is joint, like, I know that she wouldn't be like, I'm taking all the money. And she knows that I wouldn't be like, I'm taking all the money. You feel me? Right, right. It would be like, hey, we're gonna figure it out. Like, you know, this is or this is yours or this has been yours. This is mine, and I'm probably gonna have to be like, well, this was mine, but here for the kids. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. I but there is people that, bro. To me, the the craziest thing is when people split up and like it goes from like they loved each other at the peak, bro, and then it was all love, and then it just drops like boom, no love, bro, all hate. And it's like, damn! How the hell did you get to that point? Well, they do say it. there's a thin, there's a thin line between love and hate, right? I mean, but to me, it's still bizarre how crazy divorces and like fights can get, bro, and like how much they want to take or hurt. Not even take how much they want to take to hurt the person. Not even because they need it or you know what I mean. It's more like I'm gonna make this this person's life miserable. Let me take this. You feel me? I do feel like when when stuff like does happen, bro, it's it's build up, you know. Um, obviously you, you try to, uh, move along and, and, and forgive each other and, and whatever, but yeah. you definitely, I think women mainly hold on, you know, like grudges, like they, they, they fucking keep that inside. And then when it's the right time, that's when they let loose and shit. And then it's like, oh, well this, 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 and this, like they have all this stuff on the, I guess on the back burner or whatever, you know, when it gets to be too much. And then that's when it's just like complete hate. That's crazy. I think it's crazy still, bro. But yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I mean, yeah. I don't know. So what? So you you have separate accounts. So we have separate accounts. All right. Um. We we both 
pay bills, you know, like, like I've said before. Even, right. Uh, yeah, I go 50 50. You know, uh, 50, 60 yeah, 40. 60 40, you know. 70 30. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so you take care of everything. That's no cool. Tengo dinero. She takes <laughs> yeah. all my money anyway. <laughs> no, but uh, you know, we, we do try to go like 50-50. You know, there's things that I pay for, you know, things that she pays for. Um, but I think for me in the beginning, um, my wife is younger than me. So in the beginning, it was more so like you gotta learn how to handle your money, you know? And if you can't handle your own money, how are we gonna how am I gonna trust you to handle you know, all of our, all of our money, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, um, th- I think we did have a, we did have a talk or whatever, cause it, it was beginning of our relationship, you know? And it was just like, you know what, like this, this will prove to me that we can take the next step, you know, get married and, and whatnot. Um, it's like, we have bills and are you able to manage to pay? Cause I mean, like I said, I had already been, you know, managing and, and having car notes and, whatnot you know so it's more so um can she do it and we can build from that like if you don't have to come to me like hey you know what i'm short 50 bucks this this week this month or whatever which you're short 50 here's 100 you know like right. th- th- that's not even a question like yeah the money's here like you could take it whenever so i think it started out like that and she's obviously has been doing a fucking awesome job you know, we, we, not that we have much and shit, but, you know, uh, thankfully we have a home, you know, we both work, um, both have cars. Este, but, um, that's how it started. And it just kind of stood that way. Um, just because like, she also has, uh, I say also because I have a bad spending habit. I'm a, I'm an impulsive buyer. Yeah, he is. You look in our studio, it's like terrible. Fucking what the fuck? Tell him what no he tells you though, bro. <laughs> Chill out, bro. Don't buy that. <laughs> don't buy yeah, that. We don't need that, bro. We don't need Chill. it. And then I buy yeah, it. You don't care. So so I'm an impulsive buyer mm. and, and my wife likes to also spend or whatever. So that's where I'm just kinda like, you know what? Like, cause then I, I will hold back though. You know what I mean? Like, hey, do we really need X amount of cables, this or whatever? And most of the time but like I convince myself somehow to buy it. But it's like doesn't when, take much. It doesn't. It doesn't really take much. <laughs> so it's like we're both like that. So it's like I'd rather just have like you know what this is your account. You know how much you can spend. You know what you know. Like she does a crafting thing. Like that crafting thing is expensive too, bro. You know all that oh, stuff for sure. So life uh, is expensive right now as it is, bro. Life is crazy expensive right now. But I'm gonna. But it works out for you guys though, right? Like it works out. It works out. I mean, we have thought about like having a joint account, but I just feel like this is just how I feel comfortable. It just got to that. Just Does she like, have access to your account? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's to she's the point not on where, the, like her name not on it though. No, her name's on it. Oh, okay. So she could she has a debit card for it. She can go take out. She money doesn't she have a to. debit card, but she can have access to it. Okay, so if she you walked I mean? in. If she and said, wa- if hey, she I walked in. Like money. this is you know yeah yeah. It's, this is it's me. Right. I can take out money. You, same thing yeah. for you on hers. I have no idea. Oh snap. I don't know. Now we got to talk about that, bro. Damn. Nah, it's trust issues? Nah. We, oh, nah. <laughs> damn. Nah, just No, he's calling you out, babe. <laughs> nah, I ain't. I'm not. Everything is good. Y'all doing great. Y'all got a lot of things. Y'all got a lot of blessings, man. Keep it going. If that works for you guys. Um, I think my wife That's- had an account, bro, that was separate when she worked and had direct deposit. But I, I don't know when that stopped, dude. That was a long time ago, though, man. Like, I mean, we got married in 2013, bro. So she, you know. She worked for the three years, and then at 2016, my first son, uh, son was born. What's up? Happy anniversary? Yeah, for sure. It just passed on the 5th, bro. Damn. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it, man. I yeah, saw it on, years, my, uh, bro. on my memory thing or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Apenas pasó, compa. El cinco. Damn. So, that's what's up. How many years? Uh, ocho. Eight? Yeah. Eight years? Ocho, yeah. So she worked for those three, bro. But I don't know where along the lines, bro, with like, our, our, I think she was on my account right away, though, bro, like. Even though she was getting the direct deposit to her, but she had access to your account right away. Yeah, I mean, like it happened right away. She had a debit card, everything, a, you know, credit card, all everything, all that, bro. Once we got married, like she had access, um, and then she eventually just closed out her account, and I forgot why. I, I mean, I don't think she needed it. You know, what I mean, it was just right. like extra, like it wasn't really being used, and she's like, oh, I'm just gonna close it. Yeah, she said, quedó compa, and it's been like that. I mean, it. She has access to it. She has a debit card, credit card, whatever she needs to do. She has, she could do it, you know. Um, 
But funny enough, I take care of all the bills, bro. Like, not just pay for them. I'm saying, like, I pretty much. Like, you're the one who manages. Yeah, all, all the, the bills, bills, which I hate. But, I mean, me toca, me toca, you know? Like, I got to do it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but we talk about it all the time, bro. Like, she always tells me, like, man, like, if something happens to you, like, I have no clue how to pay a bill. Oh, that's right. Like, I mean, obviously, if it comes in the mail, yeah, like, the yeah, water yeah. bill, she's going to be able to be like, oh, I can go pay it at the at, at the um village you know yeah, yeah, yeah stuff like that but i'm saying and then she reads the bills you'll figure it out but she has no idea how to do it on you know right, right like right. how i pay them so i was like damn that's crazy you don't have the auto pay on some on some i do yeah on some you have to go in there manually too. i yeah uh, i usually do it as soon as i got this habit though as soon as it comes in the mail bro i'm logging into the account on literally as i if i open it i'm logging into the account even if Just i'm busy over with yep because you put it down bro i forget so I always That's do true. that, bro. Like if I if I see a bill come in, I I put it in my hand. I'm logging in and paying it right away. Because if not, I'll miss it, bro. Or I'll forget it, or you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I'm like, nah. So, but yeah, bro. I don't know. I have the joint account. I, we don't have joint social media though. And I don't know if I would like that. Now that you mentioned all the reasons though, but but like when the banco is, I don't care. It doesn't matter. But like I said, I'm on that level of like, if something were to happen between us, bro. Like I know she wouldn't run off with the money. I she knows I wouldn't run off with no money. You know what I mean? Like right. we would figure it out like adults. You know what I mean? So, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, well, like I said, back to the social media. Like me and my wife have separate social media. We have separate accounts. But um, I don't know. That's just the way we are. now. I guess it, it, we just got used to it. You know. Um, but yeah, same, same. I think same boat. I mean, but she also has access to it, so she can just go in there and yeah. Clean me out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, dude, what about for stuff that that y'all gotta pay? Um, I don't know, whatever. It doesn't or th- see, like to me, like we don't ever have to be like, like who's gonna pay for this or is it coming out of your account or my account? You know, like that's not a conversation. What about you? Uh, like your fur- your furnace goes out. Oh, I'm, I'm taking care of all that. Um, damn. Well. That's bad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Any anything anything pretty much major like pretty that? much major with the house. I I you're covered. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna bite the bullet on it. All right, you better. know what I mean. So it's not like, even a question. She's, no. So she's not even thinking like, oh damn, is that gonna come from my account? Like nah. No, nah, like, when it comes to stuff like that, no, no, no. Like right. I, I'm I'm gonna handle that. Um, car repairs and shit like that. That's, Groceries. That's, that's on me. That's her. Okay. So you guys have your set. Yeah, thing. that's, that's, what, why it that's works. what I'm saying. It's, yeah, that's it's, why it's already works, bro. like you know. Like there is no like oh like do you want me to pay this time? It's kind of like nah. so you were just in Texas, bro. You went on a vacation, right? Unless you pulled out all the cash, you know, to take on the vacation. Like this is what we're spending. But like you guys are out there, y'all do for, doing different things that aren't you know day to day. Who's taking care of that? So in this particular <clears throat> um, trip that we took or whatever, like I, I paid for the gas. You know, this was like her trip. Like she doesn't that she she wanted to do with, but I definitely enjoyed, you know, I definitely enjoyed Texas. Like Houston was fucking badass. I think okay, it's no quiero que me, que ahora me lleven. Nah, yeah, nah, nah, nah. Shit, you, it was dope, bro. It. it was dope as fuck. Like, um, well, we went in September though, so I don't think it was as hot. So I don't know if I would like it in August or July. Yeah, it's super you know? hot. Like I really can't do the fucking heat like that. Fuck that, you know. Um, but it was fucking dope. Anyways. So when it came to stuff like that, like, yeah, like I, I took care of all like the gas, because we drove. So the gas or whatever, I, I did that. Um, we went, obviously we went out to eat. I, I bought a few times. Um, she paid for the hotel. So, and then she also bought food a, a couple times or whatever. So, I mean, it was, it was pretty much even. So know? even. All right. So here's another good question, bro. So you're, you're pretty much kind of splitting a lot of the things. Let's, let's just say, you know, 50-50. 60, 40, whatever, right? Um, and you're also taking, you know, biting the bullet on big ticket items that happen, whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? So in this in the relationship, who's the one saving up for vacations or future Jeez. or retirement or Jeez. whatever? She's the Jeez. one, she's like, she's holding it down. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So that I mean, so the trust is there 100 percent Like you know that if you need something major, the money's mostly going to be like right there at her account, like for anything that comes up. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, definitely for like trips and stuff like that. She's definitely the one that like holds, like, you know, 
we get our, our, our tax return. Like, it ain't much because we don't have kids, you know? Um, but show, keep that, you know? Like, straight to her account, you know? There are times where she'll be like, oh, well, here, I'm going to give you this much. Look at Sash. Like, but we have this planned. So, cool, but. Yeah. I don't know, man. That sounds so crazy to me now that I'm thinking like all these things that you're like, what? all right, something does come up or, you know, whatever. You need a major amount. And is she going to be cool with like spending it? Like, okay, well, that's her money, but you need 5K, you know, or 7K for whatever. Is she going to be like, well, that's a lot of money? Or is she going to be like, yeah, well, that's our money, babe. Grab it. I mean, it's the same thing like, if she were to need, for whatever reason, she would need my money. You know what I mean? Right. That's what or I'm whatever. saying. Like you, like, here's but a, are you gonna make the decision? Like, yeah, I'm not with that. I mean, the only, the only, or the only way I'm, I'm gonna be like, nah, <clears throat> and I should probably tell me no. It's like, hey, babe, man, I saw this fucking camera for like five stacks. She gonna be like, you're stupid. You right, know? right, right. And if she tells me, hey, I fucking this new crafting thing, five grand. I'm like, nope. <laughs> right, right. That ain't happening, bro. Okay, but, but let me ask you this: What if she is planning to spend it from her money, like her account? If she wants to spend five k on uh, something for crafting or new, whatever, she needs approval. Nope, that's all her. See, that's 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 crazy, right there. That's like to me, that doesn't make sense to me, bro. So that means, like, so that means your money's your money, her money's her money. Period. Yeah, that's what, well. Yeah, because like I said, damn, that's I, crazy. <laughs> I can, I'm trying to get wrapped around People that. comment, man. Yeah. Let us know let what us you know, guys think. Yeah, like, let us know. Because look, That's bro, crazy. like we we did this podcast thing, um, and and not to like throw numbers out there. This shit is fucking expensive. You know, and that's that we don't even have like the best shit out there. You know, uh, yeah, we do, baby. So, <laughs> check out these oh, bikes, these, baby. These mics are <laughs> check out these dope. bikes, baby. We we doing it. <laughs> we big out in these streets, baby. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean, though. Like in from the from the beginning, man, cables, all that shit or whatever. I'm like, oh, man, it, every yeah, it time it just up. keeps adding up. It so up. it's like I want to say, if you're looking to do a podcast, and if you do guys do like our setup or whatever, I'm like 4k in, and there's no money coming in, so. No commercial. I didn't need an approval. But you did it gradually, bro. It wasn't like but, you just boom, you know? But it was like right away the umputazo was like a stack. No, oh, for sure. No, I'm you saying. You know what I mean? Yeah, Like yeah. that first one. But hold know? up. But you did talk to her about the project. You did tell her yeah. like, hey, I'm planning to do this. And she said, but it like, go. But it wasn't like, it was more so like the, the time. You know? No, no. But but you more. did tell her like, hey, I'm going to be buying this. And she she was like, Go. Yeah. Like, but you talked about it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Like, but it wasn't I like I would have done it regardless, though. Well, she would have been me? like, okay. So let me t- let me tell you this. So, so it's your money, and she's like, dude, th- I don't want you to spend that much money on that. Like, don't do it. Like, I'm still doing it because it's your money. Yeah. See that like, I don't have that. I have the. This is our money, and I have. I think as a unit, like what is best for the unit for the family. For so I don't have that. I mean, so that's kind of cool that you got that. <laughs> that's dope. <laughs> well, it's it's because I mean, my my wife. I I feel like she trusts me as well. Like she knows that I wouldn't put us in a position where we're fucking hurting. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where like I just made a a thousand dollar purchase, and then next month, God forbid, we need something. It's like fuck. Well, I, I can't because right. I just spent a grand. You yeah. know, on, on this podcast shit or whatever. So you uh, think that's what it's based so, on too? Like yeah, trust she, she and like knows, making sure you're gonna hold it down too. It's it's trust and she knows that I don't make any any crazy and like purchases like that when it's in it's big money without knowing that I'm gonna be okay and she's gonna be okay. Right. And the house is gonna be okay. So you're still thinking as a unit too. But yeah, that is but, different though, bro. The fact that you're just like, Well, her money's her money, my money's my money, like you really don't have any control. Or vice versa over how much or what you buy. You know what I mean? Like, let's say that that printing thing or your camera. Let's say you went crazy and like hey, I'm buying a five thousand dollar camera. You got the money, and it's not gonna affect anything that's going around the house. And she really has no say over that. Like, you could just go do that. I can't do. It. I honestly can't do that. I'm not gonna play over here and be like, yeah, I could just drop five k on something like that and be like, I don't care. Like, we're good. Even if we are good, like she'd be like. Bro, like, why would you do that? You yeah. know, like, we we could have invested that differently or we could have done something different. We could have been on a vacation. You know what I mean? And you don't have to answer that, I guess. 
it seems like you're like it's whatever, you know? Yeah, well, like I said, I think she because my wife knows me and and she trusts me that um that I'm not gonna fuck us over. But know, I, I mean, it wouldn't be really effing you over if you could if you got it like that, if you no, could no, do no, it. Well, you that's know? what I'm saying though. Like she mm. knows that I wouldn't make us a, a really fucking stupid. Right, right. Like purchase, go buy a you know, you know I mean? Mercedes or something like that or right, you know, Bugatti or something. Whatever. Like that. But. But yeah, so I think I think she, that's why. So there, that's why there is no arguments. And like with her, it's like I said, it, it was like over time. So it's like now when she does tell me like, hey, I want to get this, you know, which she did. She got like a new printer thing or whatever for crafting. Yeah. And I was kind of like, damn, how much is that? And she was like, oh, like you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm all like, <laughs> hey. You're like, yeah, make us one couple some filter shirts. <laughs> well, then, hey, then that's when I was like, all right, can, Bet. can, can it make can it make this? <laughs> um, no, but. Yeah, she told me whatever the price was or whatever. I'm like, look, you know. But the one hey, thing, bro, for sure, though? we're not right. gonna right. We're not gonna. That's one thing that we we definitely are different. My wife and I, bro, like, she could be cool with spending money on certain things, bro, and I could be like, really, like that's what you're gonna do, like house things, bro. Well, that's one thing for me. I'm cool with the way the house looks. To her, it's like any extra money she's got, she's like, oh, I'm gonna do this to the house. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna, and I'm like. Really, that's what you're gonna do with your money, you know? Like, but it is what I, hey, yeah, it is what yeah. it is, you know. I I would go buy a freaking hat, you know, in a heartbeat, you know, on sale. Said, yeah, <laughs> I actually but, just got some on sale. Though. But I, you know what I mean? Like, those are little things that she's probably yeah. like, really, bro, another hat? Like, you got tons of hats, bro. You know what I, do I mean? Have like, a hats. why do you need another hat? But I wear hats. But I'm bald. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm getting bald. So uh, yeah, so life, <laughs> life, baby, life. Um. But yeah, what else you got, baby man? Um, Damn. So, yeah, we we covered social media. We did the bank accounts. I don't know if if there's anything else out there that you guys want us to talk about as far as like joint stuff or whatever. Let us know. Um, I don't think I, I have anything else, bro. It was just ba- it was basically that the I had joints. my I had my story about the dead person. Um, I let you guys know why we slacked off or whatever. I got sick. Este. As far as like what's come out, because I do want to let you guys know what's coming up. I mean, we do have other um, episodes obviously planned out. We just wanted to get me and Noe together. Um, apart, just because I do want to have a few episodes before I start releasing them. And this is why we also took a break because of my anxiety and, and all sorts of stuff, like the pressure. So I don't want to have that feeling anymore. You know what I mean? Like of like. You know, because there was a couple times, and no, he's here to tell you guys, we would literally record on a fucking Sunday, Monday, and then I would try to edit and push it out by Wednesday. You did do it, but it well, was a lot of pressure. It was a lot of pressure, you know, just because we didn't want to miss a day for you guys. And um, I ain't about that life no more. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry, bro. Like, I, I, I like doing this. You Don't know, say like, this sorry is to fun. me. Say sorry to the audience. <laughs> I was gonna say something, but no. Nah, nah we that. appreciate you guys, man. <laughs> no, nah, we do. But we really we do. definitely don't want him to. I want him to be healthy. This is a homie. Uh, we're gonna put our health first for sure. Um, so I tell him all the time, like, "Yo, bro, don't pressure yourself." You know what I mean? Like, it is what it is. When whatever we can get it out, we can get it out. I'm not yeah. worried about it. Like, we're, we're gonna try to put out as much content as possible on time, without feeling the way you feel. Right. Right. Just feeling good. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. And I think that's when our our best episodes are like when like we're we're both feeling good and whatever and not pressured and because I do look back at some of these episodes and it's like man like I just I'm like not there you know what I mean because of all the pressure and and people all the time tell me to check out you don't even fucking talk it's like well dude I have so much on my fucking plate right now um, apart to that both me and Noe work you know what I mean like Noe's yeah. got the fam he got kids you know <clears throat> me I because I got the pod I. I still got Cristaleras. So if you need a tamborazo, hit us up. 630-479-2537. But if you do need a tamborazo, hit me up, though. You know, I, I am in charge of that as well, you know? So it's like I got the tamborazo. I got fucking, you know, the pod. And then, uh, you, know, reg- you know, just life. Life and work, you know? Yeah. Um, But I think that's pretty much it, compa. For sure. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of something else. But no, nah, I mean, as far as, like, the episodes, I mean, you guys will. Because I, I still have to, like, schedule them all, schedule them all out. Um. What I am looking forward to, and hopefully, Cecia Ace about the whole the, the Halloween pod. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the, we got to link up fam. with them. Which is, we're supposed to be linking up with them next weekend, no? Yeah. 
All right. Bet. So hopefully we talk about it and, and we're able to do something. And hopefully it's on. I mean, I don't know whose channel it's going to be on or how what what it's, what's it going to be, but that one should be fun. I'm looking forward it to be it. Dope. I'm should looking be dope. forward to it, man. Um, but other than that, I think we we're going to wrap it up. I don't even know how long we did. If we did like an hour or not. Yeah, roughly about 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Ah, that's good. So any last words going by before we head out? No, nah, I was trying to think of anything joint other than bank and social media. But I couldn't think of anything. I was like, what else do you join? You know what I mean? Like, but nah. No. Nah, I ain't got nothing else, bro. I think we did good today, bro. Um, yep. Maybe it just feels good to be back. It does feel good to be back. So, Fierro. Ahí estamos. This Dude. is Compass Unfiltered. Unless you got something else to say? Nah, I was just going to tell you. Do your little thing. Subscribe. Follow. Nah. He just did it. Boom. Ahí estamos. <laughs> Compass Unfiltered. Peace. Doses.